The moment I see something. I ah! Okay, it's fine. It's not fine. It's not fine. Why is it so loud? What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Mad Viper here, and welcome back to Friday Frights, the show where we sit back on a Friday morning, evening, or night, and we watch some horror videos as the Viper Ring community. Now, today is going to be a little special day. For the OG uh, Friday Frights fans, I'm sure y'all are ready for this. <clears throat> I've been waiting for this for a while. I just couldn't find one that I was actually interested in. But for the new guys, we're going to be looking at analog horror today. Now, what is the one we're going to be looking at? This is called Greylock. Uh, their channel is at 57K. That's amazing. And all you see is disgusting images of faces. And I really don't want to do this. But <clears throat> no daily special today. I want you guys to be prepared. This is going to be one of those, one of those, you know, crazier ones. You know, this one <clears throat> is it's not a horror short so it's gonna be a little bit more scary in my opinion but anyway no daily special um i hope you all have a snack because i'm about to go get me some pineapple boom see i i didn't want to do it i knew i was gonna get y'all but i didn't want to do it but real quick let me grab my pineapples <laughs> Yeah, yeah boy. boy. Oh yes. All right, guys. I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. All right. So this is tape one. Back online, Greylock. Oh God. Okay. Already off to a fantastic sequence. Ah, right. Right. Heading sequence complete. Emergency shutdown protocols disengaged. Okay. The system was offline for time code 0106. 0106. For assistance. What the hell happened here? Welcome to Serial Dime USA Enhanced Access Damn. Operations. Please enter your clearance credentials. Error. These credentials are not recognized. Oh, he about to die then. He did. Clearance credential requirement overridden. Oh, please don't do that. Administrator privileges granted. Welcome back. I'm your user ID. What would you like to do? What are Access we about to do? Archival storage form. GBM. Oh no. Oh no. Data extraction initiated. Oh no. Data extraction. 10% complete. 10%? We need to get that to 100 real quick. Data extraction. 4 complete. <coughs> oh god. Why did they do that to me? I almost choked on a pineapple. Oh. Data extraction. 80% That's fine. Not scary at all. Data extraction complete. All data extracted to error. No error believers. Okay. It just ends like Discord shut up. I'm recording. It just ends like that. That's terrifying. <clears throat> okay. This is take two to the mountain. So evil, it is evil that they will find. Mark my words, there is no good that can come from the pursuit of darkness. Let me read to you, dear right. believer, the words of the late brilliant Charles Spurgeon, who discussed this at length in a sermon all the way back in 1864. He said, quote, Our adversary, the devil, goes about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Is we that are right? By our Lord Jesus to he pray. almost devoured me. Oh, that's a fire. Is what that not a fire? To seek or shun in prayer, we should equally pursue no, it's a light. Okay, I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm already up there. Or should we endeavor to avoid temptation, mm. seeking to walk in the path of obedience 
so that we may never be guilty of tempting the devil to tempt us. We are not to enter. Why would you listen to this at lion. night? We may pay dear. Okay. We got where we were going. Discord, shut up. Okay. I don't see nothing scary. Just blackness. Oh. Oh. Yo, sir! Cameraman! I think you should just leave. Listen to more stuff about God. Okay, it's a stick. What is that? There's... Excuse me? Why why is there blood everywhere? You wanna know what this is reminding me of and it's not making me feel good? It's reminding me of don't sleep. I mean don't scream. It's reminding me of the game that I play for Halloween, Don't Scream. My most viewed video, by the way, y'all should probably watch it if y'all haven't seen it already. It was, it was amazing. It was amazing. But that's what this is reminding me of. My anxiety is going up already. The moment I see something... I <laughs> okay, it's fine. It's not fine. It's not fine. Why is it so loud? Oh god, what is it saying? You need to go. Why are you still here? Uh-huh. 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 Why? Why is it so loud? Why does it have to be so loud? Why does it have to always be loud? Oh! Oh, God. Yo, it's seven minutes in. I don't think I can do this. I don't think. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked that, it, 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 hit, that hit the like button and subscribe. Goodbye. Alright, alright, fine. fine. We will come face to face with the devil himself, whether we intended to. What or happened not to the lights? Believer. We are drawn to him by our own hearts. In Matthew uh -huh. chapter 15, verse 19, it says, For out of the heart come evil thoughts, murder, adultery, sexual immorality, theft, false witness, slander. Okay. There is a shadow nested deep, deep within our hearts, within our minds. Hey, buddy. I don't know if that's a tree or not, but Odu looked like he doing the thriller or something. He looked like he dancing. In a place most people don't even know exists within themselves. See, I cannot, I, I, I have to, I, I, that is a thing. That thing is a thing. It has the limbs in a head. It's just standing there. I know it and is. Though you may tremble before the beast, you should make it easier on yourself. See, and why do this what to it me? Is that he bestows upon you. <laughs> oh. Okay. Aliens. It's aliens. Bro is gone. Whatever it was, bro's gone. I 
Ronaldo. Shopify, get out of here. I hate ads. <clears throat> this, so this one's called Orientation Protocols. Um, so that last one must have been about Jesus, I guess. Oh, God. And they keep getting longer in time. Oh, God. This one. This one. This one. What's the thumbnail for this one? Okay, so that was the thumbnail for the last one. This one is just... It looks like a toilet. So let's just get into it. Wait, what did it say? Okay, I gotta, I gotta read, alright, so I'm gonna do my best. This video cassette is intended for those... Wow! <laughs> this video cass... TRY IT! <laughs> okay, I need to calm down. I need to calm down. It's literally a sentence. <clears throat> this video cassette is intended for the sole use of name... Alexander Michael Marsh, subject ID AM091065. Okay. We all know what that is, so I'm not reading that. That's Greetings and oh. welcome to the preconditional protocols and orientation video system provided by Unit 13. As Thank you, I'm good. I'm, I feel good to be here. Project Stargate, created in partnership with Simeodyne USA. Uh -huh. On behalf of all of us here at Unit 13, congratulations on your selection as one of our testing candidates. Mm. Unit we 13 have a lot of questions, and yes. this video is designed to answer them all. Okay. First, let's go over some background information to provide you with the crucial context you'll need for a full understanding of what it is we're doing at Unit 13. Uh -huh. I'm sure you've heard plenty of rumors surrounding what it is that we do, but no. we're willing to bet that most everything you've heard is wrong. Being a highly confidential part of Project uh -huh. Stargate, which you've already been briefed on, Project Stargate yep. studies a revolutionary and promising area of parapsychology. Thought uh -huh. forms? If you're unfamiliar with what thought forms are, that's okay. You're in the majority. So, okay, cool. what are thought forms? Oh Tell God, me. Yeah. Occultists and spiritualists. No. Oh my god! What no. is that? No. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. If the government ever came out and was like, y'all don't probably know what this is, but let me tell you about thought forms. Let me tell you about what we used to do back in the back in the day. It just like, what is she doing? What are what is this? Tibetan monks, to theosophists, have exercised no. the creation of what is sometimes referred to as a topa, otherwise a topa? known as a thought form. A, a thought, thought form. form is the manifestation of a person's will, emotion, or other deeply psychologically energized state into. I I I thought that was willpower. Is uh, I thought. So they're just channeling the will? Okay. Physical form, right. Existing as not only an extension of the person, but as uh -huh. its own independent and sentient entity. Right. Thought forms are also able to be witnessed and experienced by third parties. Okay, so third parties can watch the thought former thought form out of his body? And okay. Not limited I get it. To the person who developed them. Thought forms have been formed to serve as familiars, companions, or even friends to those who conjure them. According wow, to key that's crazy. thought forms can be intentionally formed by a single person or multiple people, though they can So pretty much the United States Department of Army is giving us the rundown on cloning. Okay, I got, it. I got it. I got it. I get but it. They are always manifested through the deep will and focus of a person in a considerably heightened state of connectivity with their own consciousness. Traditional right. thought forms can vary widely in their level of influence in the real world. While they mm -hmm. usually take physical formations eventually, their earliest stages are more apparitional in nature, with brief manifestations, though most often remaining as an unseen essence, much like a phantom or a ghost. At Why? Space, Thought forms and ghosts are very similar in a number of ways. 
individuals can make so ghosts are just real okay devices such as a Ouija board or through EVP sessions while the thought form may respond through moving objects manipulating electronics or even speaking words in short phrases Due uh -huh. to their striking similarities, a current theory established by Unit 13 suggests that what we know as ghosts may not be as common as we once believed. Rather than a deceased person's energy being left behind after death, it's possible, and indeed likely, that these paranormal entities are actually thought forms that are unintentionally created by those individuals that the deceased has left behind, who spend Bro. inordinate amounts of time in deeply emotional states, where their Bro. mental capacity is largely occupied by a powerful focus on the departed individual. In other words, mm -hmm. as these are the ideal conditions from which thought forms are born, people may very well create their own ghosts and hauntings. No. However, as more time no. and energy is invested into the stop this. of the thought form, they begin to harness more influence on their environment until is eventually right? exhibiting a semi-permanent physical appearance and, in due course, becoming as tangible as a living creature. This is where oh. Unit 13's interest comes in. We've sought to oh. answer a very important <laughs> right. question. Can thought forms be created in a manner that would benefit American society and help keep American citizens safe? We don't need this. The practice of intentionally creating a thought form by Why would we ever need this? This doesn't help anybody. No. Traditional methods would undoubtedly take years and years of devout mental training. So, Project Stargate has enlisted a world-renowned authority in thought forms, a man mm -hmm. named Dr. Bernard Hayes, to Dr. oversee Bernard a number of the Hayes. operations related to Unit 13's work. He just sounds His evil. participation has been invaluable and has brought fruitful results to the project. Due right. to Unit 13 and Simeodyne USA's combined efforts, bringing together some of the most prestigious minds in the world, Yo, specializing chill. in the sciences chill. of the human consciousness, with cutting-edge technology and engineering methods, Why? created a groundbreaking, proprietary invention. Introducing the Thought Forum Manifester. The Thought oh, Forum it's Manifester a chair. is able to create truly independent and self-sustaining Thought Forum entities from the minds of select, willing participants. Being that they mm -hmm. come from the deepest recesses of the human mind, thought forms can appear in virtually any configuration. They and I'm assuming these thought forms don't have to appear as human. So, under a tortured, uh, in a tortured mind, you could just make like all, every last one of the creatures from. Resident Evil 4 Remake. You could just make all of those if you just thought deep enough about it while sitting in this machine. That is not okay. You could look that is person, not okay. An object, an animal, or even something as abstract as the physical representation of an emotion. What? It's recommended no! to brace yourself before touring the thought form chambers, as thought forms can also take on appearances that could be considered disturbing, like a creature one might see in a childhood nightmare. There's no reason oh, to be afraid. Oh yeah, so over. so I was right. Yeah, I was I was dead on the money with that one. Okay, that's bad. All thought forms are docile by nature, <clears throat> and while they no. look or behave in a frightening manner, and though they are capable of making physical contact, they pose no threat to humans. I do not Once trust that. If the thought form manifester is completed, your thought form will be securely transported directly into a containment chamber. Thought forms are unable and I to could just look at it. And will not be capable of causing you any no, issues. I don't there believe are some that. Some very rare potential side effects that may result from your session. These side effects include uh -huh. increased tiredness, loss of balance, dizziness, uh -huh. insomnia, vomiting, episodes of temporary amnesia, and mild hallucinations. Well, yeah, I mean, you kind of have to hallucinate the thought form into existence, right? I mean, like... These side it, effects, if present, will clear up within 72 hours of your session and are simply signs of your brain recalibrating to the real world. It is recommended right. that you refrain from driving or operating heavy machinery for 72 hours after your session, even if you experience no How much effects. is this, though? Because I'm sure it costs a pretty penny. I'm sure no random person just come, can come in and do this. have experienced these side effects reported that they were very mild and merely a transient inconvenience. 
With all of that out of the way, we are looking forward to your participation with Unit 13, and your time in the platform manifester has been scheduled. However, no. there are several required mind exercises as a part of this video system that must be completed prior to your scheduled date in order to prime your consciousness and ensure the highest quality results. Please enter the video cassette labeled TF2, waking your subconscious now. TF2? That's not here. And, I, and I'm scared. I don't really want to no. watch TF2. This is the end of this tape. Okay, this is the end of the tape. Oh, God. That was terrible. That was actually terrible. So, yeah, in this universe, you can just think things into existence. That's not going to come into problems later. That's not going to be problematic at all. Ever. Unexpected visitors? This one's eight minutes. They keep getting longer, man. I really don't like it. What am I looking for here? Definitely not uneasy. You're walking up to the house with a bright flashlight on after they turned all the lights off. You want to die. You know what? Just go for it and go die. See, if you're subscribed to me, you are probably a very intelligent and in uh, individual because for one you like watching good content on this platform and two um you wouldn't do this you just you wouldn't do it because I know I wouldn't do it so if you like me you wouldn't do it either so that being said he's going to die I don't care he, he's going to die if a head appears at that window I'm going to scream Okay, what's in there? What are we looking for, bro? You're just stalking right now. With a full camera and flashlight. Okay, spin me in a circle. I love it. Bro, you're making me anxious, dog. Okay, we're back at the house. Okay. I see nothing and no one. Okay, this camera footage is really killing me. Okay, he sat us down, guys. Okay, we can get a break. I can't eat. I'm not eating no more pineapple. I tried that and I almost died. Hello? You're sneaking in the house? No. Please. Okay, we're getting back up. Okay, what did you just do? I'm scared. Okay, we are inside the house now, I think. Sorry about that, my girlfriend. I, I just, I had to take care of it. All right, we're back. Oh, God. I don't want to be back. 
He's in the house. Dude, do we have to do this? Do we have to do this? I think we have to do this. I am trembling because this is just, this is rancid behavior right here. Yeah, he got got. I knew it. <laughs> he either got dealt with or he heard that and just immediately decided to leave. Oh my goodness. I would have left too. Oh wow, that is terrifying. That is actually terrifying. The moon? The moon did it again? This is really some Gemini Home Entertainment type stuff, huh? to thank my producer, you sir. Oh wow. My right right writers, my director, director, my friends, and you. The ordinary PP people who made me what I am today. Next headroom. Awesome. Premieres at the moon lighting tomorrow. <laughs> mm, that's unsettling. EBS. We interrupt our current program at the request of the Massachusetts State Police. This is the emergency broadcast system. This is not a test. What happened? All normal broadcasting has been discontinued during the emergency. Right. This station will broadcast official information, news, and instruction for Northern Berkshire County, Massachusetts, after right. the following tone. Thank God I'm not there. I, I'm not there at all. Thank you. Thank you. Aliens. Wake all it's aliens. Lock all doors and windows. Close all curtains and blinds. Gather in a secure area of your home where multiple exits are available to prevent yourself from being cornered. Additionally, yeah. residents Maybe you shouldn't have been thinking about making technology to manifest things into this world and this wouldn't happen. You could have just, you know, made androids. Like how we did it. Place where you are. If you are currently not in a secure area or in a vehicle, immediately head to your closest seven mark. Each seven mark location is currently being used as a safe area and as police station for your protection. Remain uh -huh. in your secure area until the threat has been resolved. Police are currently unable to determine right. a physical description of any of the assailants involved in these attacks. It is strongly advised you do not open your home to anyone you do not intimately recognize. Do not attempt to search for or engage with any suspects. The suspects are of course. Why wouldn't they be? They're manifestations. Yo, there's always that one dude, right? You hear it in the background. You're playing it. Why'd you open a window? Close it. Close the window. Close the window. Close the window. You people are dying. Yeah. Yeah, that's the smart thing. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Oh, 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 and if you loved it, how about you slither over to that subscribe button for your boy? Like you should have already done. And hit that bad boy for more content coming your way. Um, this will be the first episode of Greylock. And I don't think I can get to episode 2. But, anything for y'all. Anything for you guys. Yeah, I know y'all like me suffering like this. I do. And I don't like you for that, but I appreciate you. But I got nothing else to say. That's I'm I'm done. I was going to watch more, but we're just going to end it. I'll see you next week, Greylock. And I'll see y'all next week as well. Viper out.